Hi, I'm Crystal Hart, and welcome to the Crystal Hart Show. We are at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery in the heart of Chelsea, and if you like art, you're going to love this show. We have colors, all magnificent colors everywhere, uh, just beautiful. Now with us is the owner and curator, Ruthie Tucker. And, and Ruthie, first of all, tell the audience, uh, Ruthie recently uh, relocated uh, the address. And, and also as a curator, what do you look for uh, in art? Well, Crystal, first of all, thank you so much for honoring Amsterdam Whitney Gallery and featuring us on your fabulous Crystal Heart Show. This is a very important exhibition entitled The Chelsea Metaverse Masters. This is Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. We're located in the heart of Chelsea on 11th Avenue between 25th and 24th Street. And Amsterdam Whitney Gallery, Crystal, represents the finest of global and national art of uh, figurative, landscape, nature, female figurative, uh, abstract, um, fun art, joyful art, art that is happy, art that represents a uh, 360 navigating the art world, the finest, the best that we curate. And, and what different mediums are, are here in the gallery? Well, we have many unusual mediums. We have oil painting, we have acrylic, we have works on paper, we have photography, we have uh, works that are made with encaustic wax, we have works that are uh, digital photography that are um, uh, embedded on wonderful uh, uh, screens. Uh, the art here is collage as well. We have um, all types of varieties to suit every collector, to suit every need, and uh, the discerning collector enjoys the art of Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. And behind us, we have roses. Exactly. Well, I thought this would be a very <laughs> fortuitous way to start the uh, filming for the Crystal Heart Show because Crystal is known as a queen of Chelsea, <laughs> and behind us is another queen, Nancy Balmert, the queen of flowers. So I felt it would be a beautiful, um, uh, coincidental experience to have the two queens meeting one another. Crystal, we have Nancy Balmert, who is our yellow rose of Texas, also known as the queen of flower. This is her floral kingdom and queendom. And uh, Nancy is renowned for her beautiful oil paintings that are almost hyper-realism, enacting the beautiful uh, joy of the floral kingdom. Uh, Nancy is also known for her softly blended edges. Nancy Balmert and her wonderful husband Paul travel the world uh, looking for the perfect rose the perfect, um, behind me is the, the uh, Topeka Garnet Peony, looking for the most exquisite flower. Then Nancy paints it in her uh, studio. So the two queens, the queen of Chelsea and the queen of florals are meeting one another. I just love it because I have met Nancy and her husband. And, and that's something like to go on different vacations and look for the different roses. I just think that's, it's a beautiful union, and they really enjoy their travels internationally. They travel to Belgium and to Italy and to England, um, to the Northwest. Uh, they are from Texas. They also live in Seattle, Washington, as well as Texas. And Nancy really encompasses the finest of the floral kingdom in Quinta. Not only does Nancy Balmart paint flowers, but she paints seascapes and still lives. And you can hear the rush of the ocean come in and out. And how about a, a drink, a little sip? Our next artist is from California. California, here we come. He's a, an architect, Lawrence Armstrong. Wonderful work behind us, matches our outfits, Ruthie. Could you tell us a little bit more about this artist and an, an, an announcement? Indeed, Lawrence Armstrong is a renowned California architect and these vibrant works behind us, Crystal, are his um, layered vision theory that he believes that we control the order and the chaos and he is trying to find a system in which to discover how we can 
control, and keep an equilibrium. In addition, Lawrence Armstrong has created a wonderful Volonic uh, wireless charger, and this is for the collector who has everything that one can charge. It's it's in the wall, one's cell phone or whatever um, devices one has, and this is the collector's item. It's one of a kind, and it it is the ultimate gift for the gentleman or the lady collector who has everything created. One of a kind, Lawrence Armstrong. So, so, so wait, what do you do? You, you just you, put your cell phone right on top of it. You just put your cell phone right on top of it. And it's charged. It's just fun. Oh. It's fun and it's artistic and aesthetic and exciting and special from Lawrence Armstrong. Oh, put it. This is the Volonic Charger. I like this. It's, it's, it's got all, all the art designs. You just put your phone on there and it charges. Very ingenious. Very special. Lawrence Armstrong. Continuing on our international journey of artists, we have Natra Jacobs from Latin America. Natra Jacob is from Santiago, Chile, and truly represents the finest of our international South American Latin American artists. Behind us, Crystal, is Natra's uh, numerology series. It's entitled Chinko or Five. Natra deeply believes in the mysticism and the predestination of uh, numbers, numerical uh, components determine our life. And this is a very uh, vibrant, uh, fiery red series, number five, numerology, Nadra Jacob. Now we're going from the West Coast and Latin America to the East Coast, Rhode Island, for the work of Robert Rustemeyer. Robert Rustemeyer is inspired by Kandinsky, who said, the more abstract art is, the more direct its appeal is. And Crystal, I see that you noticed uh, behind us the geometric forms. Would you like to point them out of Robert Rustemeyer? Well, we have circles and, and uh, we have the different uh, straight lines. The oblong, and it makes, uh, he simplifies the world uh, into a more condensed geometric uh, pronunciation of the universe. Robert Rustemeyer is a gifted artist. He was a Fulbright Fellow to the Czech Republic. Uh, Robert Rustemeyer, this work is extremely, extremely beautiful, very heavy. It's on a, an caustic panel. And to lift a crystal, each work weighs at least 25 pounds. And we can see, see the skilled craftsmanship of this gifted Rhode Island artist, Robert Rustemeyer. And now we're moving to the south, and we have the work of Neris Levy, and it's very colorful, but we have a, a story behind this, Ruthie? Yes, indeed. Neris Levy is originally born in Wales, and she speaks Welsh, and Neris has migrated to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and is a professor, or formerly a professor, at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Behind us and behind Crystal is a very vivid visualization of the COVID virus. And uh, to Crystal's um, left is Neris Levy's interpretation of what the uh, COVID virus uh, would look like, its effects, and they say that the artists are the eyes and the ears of the world. And this is her very important historical and artistic interpretation of the COVID virus, Neris Levy. You know, and then right next to it, we, we have uh, a, a different uh, a sort of shapes and, and uh, tell us uh, uh, what was her uh, interpretation of, of the second painting. Well, that second painting is Naris travels um, internationally a great deal, and that was uh, right behind me here, is her view from a train. It's um, uh, juxtaposed to the COVID virus interpretation. This is a very happy uh, variation, um, uh, the joie de vivre of Italy, the colors. I would say it's the lemons, and it's a reaffirmation of life with um, a, a vibrant palette that exudes warmth and the rejoice and celebration of life, that life continues on. And on our journey through the gallery, we're heading up north to Canada with Doris Anderson. 
Doris Anderson was originally born in Germany and has lived in Canada for many years and expresses her emotions and her spirituality through her very, very expressionistic abstract canvases where she feels that uh, the texture and the vibrancy of life can be reflected through her non-objective abstract art. Uh, Doris Anderson travels uh, extensively and um, the, her palette uh, here that we have are with greens and with browns and they uh, exude the warmth of the earth and the warmth of Doris Anderson's soul. Amsterdam Whitney Gallery is delighted to shine the spotlight on this Metaverse master, Canadian Doris Anderson. Penelope Chisano, a New York artist who is now in Florida, and I always take her work as girls just want to have fun. When I have talked to Penelope, she said it's not necessarily artwork for your living room, but it's in, in your laundry room or, or fun places like that that, that her work can, can be displayed. But tell me a little bit more uh, about Penelope and, and her great work and Penelope Gisano is a, a wonderful a feminist artist who is droll, who is satirical. She does collage work. Uh, her works are works on paper, and Penny goes to the flea markets, to different artifact destinations. She uses uh, old advertising. She uses uh, doily. She uses buttons uh, to incorporate a woman's um, uh, life. I interpret Penelope Chisano's uh, art as pink champagne. It's effervescent. It sparkles like crystal heart. And this is uh, one of the most fun ones right here. This Penny entitles this pristine, but I call it um, the Swiffer Queen because Penelope uh, is having her domestic goddess in evening clothing using a Swiffer. That's our kind of gal. As she's cleaning the floors, she's in her evening clothing, she's ooh la la, and this is what we often call as powder room art, boudoir art, a kiss of fluff, a joy of life that we have to celebrate, the femininity and the joy of being a woman. And it's fun. fun. It's just fun. Girls. Just enjoy it. Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> Another female figurative artist, Marina Chistny, and she's from Russia originally, but she's uh, here in New York City. And I just love this work behind me. I love those pouty lips. It's like so contemporary. Just uh, the, the, the mixed medium on it and, and uh, the thinking and... The texture. Is the well. texture. Oh. And I, we've had uh, advertising executives from cosmetic companies enjoy the allure of her big pouty lips that uh, enhance the female um, uh, suggestiveness and a sexiness uh, of her work. And this very international artist is renowned for these very oversized canvas that still give the uh, empowerment of women and show the excitement and the allure that all women exude. And we have one more canvas we'd love to show you of uh, even a more exotic Marina Chisti artwork. And the camera will zoom over and show it in blues and midnight uh, navies. And it really has a very, very thrilling uh, midnight blue um, uh, suggestiveness to it. And we are so proud to feature Marina Chisty. And this second piece by Marina Chisty just puts you in that mood, that Duke Ellington mood, mood indigo. Just lovely. Just puts you in that mood. Continuing with our international tour of Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery, we go to Italy and the work of Maurizio Diana. Crystal, Maurizio Diana is a renowned artist and geophysicist from Italy. This is his series entitled New Horizons. For indeed, Amsterdam Whitney Gallery's Chelsea Metaverse Master Exhibition features the newest, the most important artist of the world. And Maurizio Diana's um, series, New Horizons, gives hope, 
gives faith, gives equilibrium, gives a spirituality to the world as he hopes that we all search for truth, for peace, for justice, for a better understanding of humankind. His work is um, moody, evocative. It is painted um, uh, beautifully. And it, he is a very popular artist and renowned for his exciting statements of world peace and his quest for a new horizon and new visions of the world. Maurizio Diana. This is the nature and landscape room and it's dedicated and devoted to the beauty of nature, the honesty. Uh, behind us we have a California artist, Patricia, and uh, it, it's for the, the beauty and, and the strength and, and uh, everything that nature provides for us. Uh, the artists in this room at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery honor nature. They encourage us to treasure our environment, to uh, enjoy the terrain, because people come, people go, but nature remains. Patricia Sablak Korzak, who is behind me, is a California-based artist who paints the West, and she uh, enjoys painting the great sights of the great outdoor West, the rivers, the mountains, the skyscapes. And Patricia is another artist who really wants us to honor the environment, to treasure it, to guard it, because it's ours. And if we're not careful, our environment could be eroded. And that's why she encapsulates it in paintings to say, this is beauty, let us treasure our environment. Patricia Sablak Korzak. Our next artist is Australian, by the way of Canada, uh, Damien Slevin, and his work, right, one, the one behind me, ooh la la, Paris, are we having a little cafe? <laughs> or a little aperitif, we can imagine hearing Edith Piaf sing La Vie en Rose. We are enjoying Damien Slevin's work, and when one looks at it with closer scrutiny, we're unable to determine if it's a little bit of rain, if it's a little bit of snow, if it's a little bit of wind. Is it April in Paris? But that is what is so evocative and so compelling about Damien, is he's letting and drawing the viewer in to determine the season, to determine the time, to determine the mood, and we want to know are we going to sit at the outdoor cafe, Crystal? Are we going to look at viewers um, and shoppers coming from the Louvre? Are we going to be looking at people um, who have uh, purchased clothing at Le Bon Marché? This is the excitement of Damien Slevin's work, that he draws, it's like a magnet. It draws the viewer in to his impressionist style and that we all determine his beautiful work. And Crystal will tell you a little bit about the other uh, uh, neo-impressionist work uh, to her left by Damien Slevin. Oh, I just love it. I love the blues. I love the color. I love the nature. But I think what I love the most is I can't tell if it's just calm and peaceful or if something is about to happen, is, is a storm go going to, to come in. So I sort of like that it, there's... What would I say? There's there's no real beginning or end. I guess it's my story. Very good. Or... That's it. The viewer story, and that is part of the magic and the enchantment of Damien Slevin. We have the digital photography work of Maria Asen, who originally is from Puerto Rico, but is now based in Florida. And I can see a, a lot of uh, Florida from from visiting. You know the. Um, the, the uh, ocean views, the greens, and, and uh, the leaves, yes. The flora and fauna work of uh, the digital artist and photographer Maria Asen really reflects her love of nature. We feel the vibrancy of nature, we feel the verdancy of nature, we feel the ripeness of the foliage. Maria, once again, 
is encouraging us to preserve the magic of nature, to honor our terrain, that the flora, the fauna, the foliage are ours to be uh, preservationists. She makes their colors and her palette is uh, so chromatic and so bright, which I feel does uh, reflect her Florida heritage and her Puerto Rican heritage with a joie de vivre, but also a cautionary tale uh, crystal to say, watch the environment, honor, preserve it, watch the ecosystem. Uh, uh, this is magic, the world is magic, and we cannot destroy it. We have to love our environment. The Chelsea Metaverse master, Maria Asen, is a wonderful artist and an artist to be showcased for the first time at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. We are so proud to feature her and she is an important uh, artist and a collector item that many uh, uh, young collectors have been looking to Maria's wonderful work because they uh, connect to her love of the world and honoring our environment. Maria Asen. You know, I just, do need to add to that because I, I have been in Florida and with the red tide and this is a, a, a honoring the environment is important because what happens when the fertilizers and, and, and all the chemicals go into the water all of that uh, habitat that lives in the water uh, just um, become strangled and and, and and yes and it, it really I, I was down there when it when I saw it and I was just uh, to see all the fish and everything that, that had come up onto the sand and um, no longer living just oh it was it was very traumatic for me I didn't realize that if we don't take care of the environment that this is what, what happens. This is so true. And this is why the artists, once again, are the eyes and the ears of the world, because they encourage us and they encapsulate the beauty of our terrain, the beauty of the flora and fauna, and say, let us honor it, let us watch it, and let us rejoice and be careful. Maria Asen. We've gone all the way around the world, and now we come back to New Jersey artist, Elliot, Gilbert, an Impressionist. Elliot Gilbert is a renowned New Jersey artist for his traditional Impressionist paintings. Elliot and his wife travel the globe looking at the various sites of the universe and he paints in a very traditional Impressionist style trying to encourage us to love the environment along with the other artists in this room. We see the lushness of the universe, we see the lushness of the terrain, we see great sights that Elliot and his wife Judy have traveled with their sons and Elliot paints these and enshrines them to posterity and hopes that we can all remember the beauty of the land, the beauty of these monuments, treasure, honor them, and preserve them, and that is why Elliot Gilbert is a Chelsea Metaverse Master at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. Ruthie, I hear that it's Amsterdam Whitney Gallery's 20th anniversary. Crystal, that is so <laughs> correct. We are thrilled. 2002 Amsterdam Whitney Gallery was founded by my beloved husband and myself, Ambassador Dr. Alton Lewis Amsterdam, and we have been in Chelsea for 20 years exhibiting, showcasing the finest artists of the world, of the um, New York State, of New Jersey, of the West Coast, of the South, and of course Europe, Latin America, and Asia. Amsterdam Whitney Gallery's Chelsea Metaverse Exhibition is a compendium. We're like a Marco Polo of the world. We navigate 360 to find the wonderful art of the world, and we are proud to continue this tradition of affording the artists the wonderful opportunity to exhibit their art, to meet our fabulous collectors, and our collectors who are so discerning come to us because they know that we curate and edit the most exciting art and introduce something fresh and uh, innovative to them. And Amsterdam Whitney Gallery is so proud to have our 20th anniversary. I looked up today in Wikipedia what does 20th anniversary represent and they said 
it is China. And China, they went on to say, is, uh, represents a balance, an exquisite balance. And I thought, Crystal, that is so appropriate because we provide a balance between the collector and a balance between the artist. And it meets, and this is a Chelsea Metaverse Master exhibition that meets the balance of the universe. We encourage everyone to come down here and we once again thank Crystal Hart, the beautiful, the divine, the ever fabulous Crystal and her wonderful team, Billy. Thank you, God bless you. Come to Chelsea, the world is celestial here in Chelsea at Amsterdam with me, Gallery. Congratulations. Thank you, Crystal. God bless. That's all the time we have for this show. With us, Ruthie Tucker, it's time to say goodbye. We've been at Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery. What a wonderful tour, Ruthie. Crystal, darling, thank you. I wish the audience could see how beautiful and divine Crystal is. She's the queen of Chelsea. She exhibits in a state of fabulosity. And we are so honored and we thank Crystal with gratitude in our hearts for her fabulous coverage of our Chelsea Metaverse Artists at Amsterdam Whitney Gallery, which is located in the heart of Chelsea at 210 11th Avenue between 25th and 24th Street. Thank you all. Be well. But most of all, thank you, our beloved Crystal. We love you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Come to Bye -bye. Chelsea. Thank you. <laughs>